This is an extract of the soon to be released Elliott Waves and E Waves training videos. Please visit www.for-exe.com for more info. The E Waves indicator uses the Bill Williams Awesome Oscillator histogram, freely available on MetaTrader, to primarily identify the waves 3, 4, and 5. Identifying the waves 1 and 2 at their inception has proven quite difficult to code, though we might do something in a later version of the indicator. We can make some educated guesses through multi time frame analysis using E waves. We'll talk about that later. This pound dollar monthly chart shows how the E waves indicator would look when loaded. The first thing that the indicator looks for is wave 3, the highest histogram for 140 bars, or as can be seen to the right, the lowest histogram to the other side of the zero line. Once a wave 3 has been identified, the indicator tries to work out where wave 1 would have started, as can be seen by the green and red target symbols. This point is later used to calculate the Fibonacci expansion levels to predict where wave 5 will likely finish. When the wave 3 has been found, the indicator will look for the point at which the histogram crosses the zero line to identify the wave 4. Remember this is done in real time and you will see the wave count identification as it happens. As the wave 4 is formed or starts to form, the Fibonacci expansion levels will be plotted. These levels will be adjusted until the wave 4 has completed. As you can see from this chart, E-Waves forecasted back in December 2005 that the pound dollar pair would reach target zone 1 level of 2.0679, some 3000 pips away at the time. Wave 5 is identified when price goes higher than wave 3 but the histogram fails to make a new high, resulting in divergence between price and histogram. This signals the loss of momentum that is a characteristic of wave 5, as buyers enter the market with less enthusiasm than they did for wave 3. In this example, the wave 5 bounced off the Fib expansion target, and plummeted. A nice example of how we could not only have traded the wave 5 for more than 3000 pips, but, when the wave completed at the predicted target level, also looked for a reversal to go short. Before we move to the next slide, you might be asking if by the indicator only identifying a wave 3, when it is, for the most part, already formed, have we not already missed the best and most profitable part of the move? Well you would be right, but, through multi time frame analysis, as will be discussed later, you will see that using E waves we can actually get into the wave 1, see the wave 2 and jump in the wave 3 pretty much at the very beginning. Thanks for watching. Please go to www.for-exe.com for more info. Hey dog, stop humping my leg will you? Damn it, I forgot to switch off the microphone.